Texas 200, day two. Rolling out of Sunday Beach, headed for Hidden Pass, maybe. We are loose from Sunday Beach. Brian and his dad, the gang, Mike and all, they were good people. Brian and his dad had to drag me in a hundred yards in yesterday because the water was so shallow, low tide. That was work. We had to unload a couple bags, both coolers, my water, get the boat in, and then we still had to drag it in. So I waited out for high tide today. Rearranged the boat for a better weight. And uh, distribution, better weight distribution. It bumped bottom on the way out, but it made it out. Now we're headed back, uh, we're gonna hit the ICW, head south, and I believe Hidden Pass. I think Hidden Pass is our next stop, that way. Not sure how many miles. Let's see, how many miles of Hidden Pass? Ah, it's less, it's, it's like 14 miles from here, so by the time I run around, it'll be less than 20 miles. Short little hop today, get down there and get set up and have a good time. Beautiful breeze, and once I turn south, it's just gonna be pushing me. There was five or six boats at Hidden Pass last night. I'm expecting a few more this time. Look at this room. Fishermen are all out. These guys were catching some fish last night. Oh my God. What was it Mike? I think he caught like 20 trout sitting out there in one spot real quick. These guys, as soon as they get floundered, they were cleaning them up for lunch when I left. I had biscuits and gravy for breakfast. A little freeze-dried meal, but darn good. Got the barge traffic out here in the ICW. Still got to pay attention to. Stay out of their way. Hopefully the wind will pick up when we get out of the uh, the urban part here. <laughs> urban community. I think we'll uh, get a little more wind when I get some of these structures off the side here. They're just stealing my wind. And we'll get some pace. Right now we're running running five miles an hour. Not a bad pace. We got plenty of time. Can't get much more peaceful than this. Just the rudder every minute or two. Under the shade, nice and peaceful. Listen to the water trickling by. Dolphins, I got dolphins all around me here. They've been, got a pot of dolphins been running with me. They get right up close too. And that's always fun. All right, we're steering off the ICW earlier than I planned. We're gonna go out here in the bay. We're gonna fish it to our hidden, the hidden pass. It'll be touch and go, follow the charts. A little more adventure, because the ICW is getting pretty damn boring. A lot better wind out here in the open water, it feels like. This is what we're talking about. Now we're gonna have some fun. Ah, it's getting cooler out here. Temperature just dropped, that's awesome. We get some clouds coming in. We get a little overcast. That'll make the weather nice. There's a, there's the army, uh, army hole. I can see that from here. Last fall when I did army hole, this is how I got back to the ICW and headed home. Oh yeah, this is much better. <laughs> Trimmer in. Yeah, 
There it is. Oh. Now we're moving. Good time. Ah, this is it. That was getting boring on the ICW. This is way better. As long as nothing crazy happens out here, this is way better. Got a big, I don't know, 35, 40 foot sailboat right in front of us. I think a sail might be hiding it from the camera. Pulling a dinghy. We're kind of piddling around out here. I just. When I had a boat that size, I wouldn't have brought it out here, I don't think. It's a little too shallow. But they're motoring. I'm going to pass them here like a bullet. Take them on the windward side. Seven, seven and a half miles an hour. Great air. Past the Tortiga time or whatever back there. We're screaming. Gonna get a little farther out here, then we're gonna cut south and head over to Hidden Pass, which is that way. About 10 miles. Coming up on our turn, we'll head to Hidden Pass. We got an Army Hole right here. We're headed for Hidden Pass. I'm hoping to hit Army Hole on the way back. But I've already been there. I want to hit stuff I've never been to. Just under nine miles away from Hidden Pass. I think we're going to slow down once we turn be more downwind. But this is a lot of fun. I, I'd love to hold this all day. We'll see when we turn here. Still a good wind. We might keep some speed up. Fingers crossed. Whoa! Flash action. Oh, let's get a reading on this wind. Point two on the wind. Not a bad wind. I like that wind. All right, we're gonna start peeling off now. Oh, 
yeah. Glad that water's warm. <laughs> All right, we're eight miles out. Should be hitting it right about, still looking at uh, about three o'clock. We're still making darn good time. Bring off the wind some, it's a drier ride. Right? I was getting a little splash here and there. It's getting fun. Now we're back to beef jerky and lounging. Well, we're coming up on the pass. <clears throat> we're less than a mile from the island. We've got to cut between these little islands. Got some big old complex in front of me that's, you know, I can't even figure out where it's at on the chart. I don't know if I'm supposed to go on the other side of it or this side of it. I'm assuming this side of it. Get up closer. right here. We're already flying. Small little thing. Hope we can get through it. Woo, that's a tiny pass. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure it's still there. these things move with the hurricanes and stuff. So what shows on the charts isn't even there anymore. Oh, ah, I think I see it right there.
Could be a channel marker. I'm not seeing a pass. Looking back as I edit this video, I realized that probably was hit and pass I was looking for. I just didn't realize it at the time, i.e. I couldn't find it. It was hit. All right, so we got to pass this island. We go out here, hit, hit the deeper stretch here. It's a little run and double back in for uh, hidden pass. Which is just right here, but we got to go around that. The chart showed a pass to get to it, but it's been filled up by one hurricane or two or three, or who knows. Got another sailboat over here, a little square rig. Don't know who it is, but uh, I get the impression they already knew that. All right, we're having to cut wide to come back to stay in the deeper water. Getting some crazy wind here. coordinates in the GPS wrong. I put them in right and it's still about the same place. I'm going to uh, probably run aground here in a second. We're going to pull up here to the beach. Take a break. Figure out where the hell we're going. This might be it. We'll see you in a minute. Ugh, that's one way to do it. Nice little lagoon right there. Okay, let's take a break. Throw in some coordinates, see what's going on. All right, I'll be back. Keep putting my coordinates in. It's not here unless it's one of these little things here and I'm just not recognizing it's big enough to be whatever. I'm expecting people to be wherever I'm at. So the next stop down, it's another seven miles be in there about 5.30 it says, is uh, Panther Point. That must be the other boat must have just kept right on going. He's figured this guy's lost. So I'm going to make a run for Panther Point at this point. And we'll see what happens. It's looking like about 5 o'clock we'll, we'll hit. There's plenty of time, no hurry. Now this one won't be a problem to find because it's... Whoa. It's very easy to see on the charts. Very prominent versus the other one's just a spit of sand. But I will find it before I leave. On the way back, hopefully. All right, we got the uh, Sea Panther Point. I see some mass. I'm gonna have to get the binoculars out. It's only two and a half miles up here. We're rolling, doing seven and eight miles an hour. Oh, we got the jib rolled in. This is getting too much, too crazy. And uh, won't be long. We'll be friggin' hanging out of the campsite. Here we go. All right, we got sailboats in front of us up on shore. Gonna uh, roll right up 
here and see what happens. We're flying. Don't want to hit shore at this speed. <laughs> Okay, boys. Let's see what we got. Panther Point. Scraggy, broken shell uh, beach. Even with the tarp down. <laughs> and my tent. You can't kneel in the tent. It's too sharp on your knees. You have to put a t-shirt down or something to kneel on. So for the angle, it's hell. The rest of it, beautiful. I can't wait to see the stars tonight. People are scattered all the way, there's people all the way over there. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. I just came down and I got the shower hanging up there. I just uh, got naked and took a nice hot shower. Felt great. Some dry clothes. Makes for a whole new attitude of the day. There it is. It's Panther Beach. It's beautiful out here. You see it's all this broken shells for a beach. It's really rough on your feet, your knees and your tent and everything else. But past that, hell of a wind. Everything's good as long as the boat's still here in the morning doesn't float off on me because there's not much to anchor to here. So that's Sunday Beach to Panther Point. Hope you had fun. I had a gas. It's a long day. Some excitement. Beautiful stars that night. Oh man, there's a lot of beer and stars that night. So I hope you had fun. I did. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Tomorrow we're sailing to Mud Island. Big party on Mud Island. So jump aboard, because I'm taking you bastard sailing. <laughs>